Right, we've ordered a couple of things on Amazon recently, and one of them, first one, is this dual head microphone. It's a lapel microphone. It says it's for a GoPro, or for smartphones, or for a camera. And uh, the idea is obviously we want to try and improve some of the audio that we've got, particularly when we're driving along. I often find it's really difficult not to get a lot of interference. So if that can, if you can get that to focus. And it's, well, if you can see it, it says it's a dual head mic for two-way recording, a metal mic for super interference. Oh, good, we'll have some super interference. High quality silica gel material and universal smartphone camera GoPro. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Comes in a little pouch. That's quite nice. Silica, that's the silica. Which might be a lead. Let's see if we get the microphone out. What else have you got in there? So let's let me just clear this away and have a look what we got. So it looks like we've got some adapters. I think that one's USB to 3.5 millimeter. And this one is that it looks like an extension for 3.5 millimeter. A little uh, tribble. That's to keep the wind noise. That's a, a wind socket. I call it a wind socket. It's, about, it's to stop the wind interference. You put that on the end of the mic. I think it should be two of those. There's the other one. So two tribbles. Ooh. Let me just clear that away. These look like the microphones. So they've got little. That's quite. A, ooh, that's a strong clip there. It's a little clip. Obviously, there's the other one. And obviously, if you're filming outside, I suppose you can put the tribbles on them. I'll perhaps do that later. But we're going to probably use it when we're inside the van. So I might not use the windsocks because I have got a windsock mic at the moment. Um, and it comes it comes with a thing. So I suppose the only way to actually test this out is to try and use it. So this is me testing a lapel mic. So testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. It actually comes with quite a long lead. It's uh, eight foot, I think it is. You can get, I think it said 19 foot. I thought, I don't really need a, something that long, so hopefully, you know, this should be good enough for the purposes we want. Uh, obviously, we'll have we'll have one mic over there clipped onto the driver and one clipped onto the passenger. So, so I'll just sort of I'll just hold them out here. I just wonder how uh, well they pick up. From here or they probably would be a lot better obviously just clipped on to here anyway I'll do some experimenting so the other thing I've got is a little adapter Ooh, rolling away I think it comes with a spanner to adjust it. Yeah, I think that's what that is. The idea of this is that I can attach, if you can see it, I can attach one end to a GoPro and the other end to a, um, to a stand or to a handheld selfie stick. And then what you can do is you can twist them around. Oh, it twists around, you see. Do you hear it clicking? Blimey. That's quite stiff. Oh yeah. Yeah, it actually twists around, so that whole thing clicks around. Obviously, I don't think you want to be doing that whilst you're filming, but you can click it in different directions. The idea with this is I thought, well, I can use this in the van, perhaps when I'm on my own, talking to myself, and I can twist the 
uh, the GoPro round so it's actually facing me. So I'll have a little play with that. I think that's just for tightening up. That's just for tightening up the bolt. And there's a lanyard so you don't lose it. So the final thing I've got, see that reflected on, on the camera, is um, it's a GoPro uh, remote control. It's for controlling the GoPros. It's not actually a GoPro item. It's made by a company, as you can see, the strange name of Yotafun. So I'm going to open this and we'll have a look inside. Oh, it's not easy to open. Half the battle with these uh, boxes is figuring out how you get in them. They're all different. And this one is just a pull down one. There we go. Let's move the scissors out of the way. So this is this is a re get it the right way up. This is a remote control for a GoPro. I think it also comes. The box also comes. There should be a little cable for charging. Yeah, it's a little cable for charging it. There we go. Not sure what the end bit is there, but let's give it a go. Oh, it looks like it's a wireless. Might be wrong, but I look. Oh no, it's a little that clip. Oh yeah, it clips on there, I guess. Oh, it's magnetic. That's clever. A magnetic catch on it. So I assume you have to have. I was in the right place. Anyway, I will charge that up and we'll give it a go. Right, just started it recording with the remote. There's a pairing sequence you have to do. You have to hold the power button down and uh, I'll show that in a minute. Um, but once you've done that, then you can start and stop recording. So I'm going to stop it and start it. That's good. I think you can use the, there's a, is that the first? No, and that's for highlights. I think that's so you can make highlights on the video. So now I can actually control two GoPros at the same time. I just press the button and I press it again to start it. Uh, it's blooming useful. Just well, I don't know how I can do this if I press the button. And it's got two lights to say that you've got two um, devices connected. So as I can show that filming this kind of really press the button hours of fun I don't know how I'm going to edit that so the other thing I've got well first of all this is the thing I use to stick to the car or the, the motor and windscreen and it's got a connection on the end so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this this device here and I can then swivel around the camera and let's just connect that I think there's a screw there. Turn it around. And the nut that goes with it. That's it. Right, so I've then got a GoPro and I can swivel it round. I don't remember how to do it. There we go. So I'm just going to put this GoPro on there. So this is attached to the windscreen and the GoPro is there. So if you can sort of imagine driving along, uh, that can be filming me talking. And then all I do is swivel it round and then it's filming me going along. So I think that's brilliant. It's got a well, that's it for today. <laughs> Had a little play with my new toys. Tara's been with us uh, today, hasn't she? And yeah, it's been a couple been of days. It's over the weekend, wasn't it, as yeah. well? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, all these cameras. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we're at home this week, aren't we? It's a bit of a rarity. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, 
Wednesday, you're taking the car, aren't you, for its MOT? Yeah. And I was. The, what do you do when you take the car for its MOT? Yeah. I don't know how interesting that video is going to be, but uh, I got a few thumbs down for our last video oh, no. about the and drive was, in, the, in the forest that was road. That's my idea as well. So. Yeah, so well, sorry about that. Yeah. You know, we don't normally get that many thumbs down, no, no, but we, just, it, we, had, we had some video left over. I thought it was quite nice because when I looked yeah. at it, it was a whole lot of noise on the uh, on the video, and we couldn't I couldn't use it, so I thought I'd put some music on it, but uh, obviously. Yeah. There's probably not so much content there, was it? Shouldn't there? listen to my suggestions and no. make a good video. No, so probably what you need to see is uh, things happening. Yeah, like you take the car. <laughs> it's like me taking the car for an MOT. Too, anyway, yeah. I've had a nice play with my, my cameras Dimness, today yeah, and yeah. Um, a bit of training. And a bit of training. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's Monday today, Wednesday MOT. Uh, we'll release one of these videos, I don't know which one, Friday. I think we'll do the car one Friday. We'll do the this MOT is... one Friday. Yeah. And, uh... Then Sunday we go to Ferry Meadows, don't we? Yeah. Complete with yeah. Tara. Do you, to, do you want to talk to that camera? Sorry. Do you want I to talk know. to this camera? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 sorry, I've, I've also <laughs> figured out how my remote works. The, the left hand light is the Bluetooth connection, and the flashing blue light simply says that you're recording. And also notice that the spanner, interestingly enough, is for doing the settings. It's unusual, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So that's, they, they go for the groomers, don't they, Friday? Yeah, dogs to the groomers Friday. Uh, yeah. We haven't got any more teeth or hair or anything to do with We haven't got, no, no, it's just the yeah. car's got an appointment and they've yeah. got an appointment. Yeah. So then we we go Sunday if we can last that long, don't yeah. we? For, yeah, off to Ferry Meadows. Yeah, Ferry Meadows, Clumber Park, yeah. and Nairsborough. Nairsborough. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. If you like the video, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. Uh, remember to subscribe, hit that uh, notifications icon, and we'll catch up with you soon. Now, if I can figure out how to switch this off now. Of course, we'll be here all night. We'll be here all night. Yeah.